All right, this is part two of digging through the Johnny Cash complete Columbia albums box set. So if you did not watch the first one, I suggest you do that. <clears throat> but um, I'm gonna pull out a few more albums out of here that I enjoy listening to. Like I said in the last um, video, there are over 63 albums in this collection. And uh, if you don't own this, you are not a true Johnny Cash fan. So let me pull out a few more albums and, um, you know, talk a little bit about them and tell you some of my favorite songs on them. Um, first, I'm going to start off with an album called Blood, Sweat, and Tears. And this is, uh, this is another concept album um, in the uh, folk ballad vein that Johnny Cash did, um, you know, a lot of songs along those lines. Um, some of my favorites on this album, I love The Legend of John Henry's Hammer. Great song. Um, I love Busted. I like Casey Jones. I like uh, Chain Gang and Roughneck. Um, an early Johnny Cash album, but you can just tell by the cover, he is not messing around. He might look like he's going to go in the mine. But you just better watch yourself because he could kick your you-know-what. Uh, another early Johnny Cash album that I like, Now There Was a Song. Um, some songs I like on here. I like I Feel Better All Over. Um, My Shoes Keep Walking Back to You. I just be fool enough to fall. Transfusion Blues, which is an early version of the song Cocaine Blues, which I think appeared on the Folsom Prison album, either that or the San Quentin album, I can't remember. Um, a good version of I'm So Lonesome I Could Cry and Honky Tonk Girl. So some lesser known songs on this, but this is still a really good record. Um, now a later album of his, the Adventures of Johnny Cash. I uh, actually pull this album out quite a bit. I like uh, Georgia on a Fast Train. I like Fairweather Friends. He does a version of uh, John Prine's Paradise on here, which is really good. Um, ooh, a song called Only Love. Only love, love, only, only love. Something like that. That's not the melody, but that's another great song. Um all in all, this is a, is a this is a really good later album by him. His um, 80s albums were kind of touch and go, but this is uh, definitely a strong album, The Adventures of Johnny Cash. Um, now, going back to a classic, <clears throat> Songs of Our Soil. Really good record. I love, uh, it's got the classic Five Feet High and Rising. Um Clementine, I love The Great Speckled Bird. That is such a great song. Uh, the Caretaker is a great story song. Um, My Grandfather's Clock, classic. Um, so again, this is, um, you know what? I'm going to put it in the uh, concept albums as well. Um, this goes, this is a lot like Blood, Sweat, and Tears. Um, another uh, folk ballad concept album. Johnny Cash was always so much more than just country. Um, even the, um, I'm thinking of the arrangements of his songs. They were, I, I definitely feel like they were more folk than country. Um, and I think that that's what separated him. The other thing with Johnny Cash is how he could, um, present a song and almost, even if he didn't write it, you, you, you felt that he wrote it and, um, you felt that he lived every song that he sang just from his um his vocal approach and um just how he was invested in what he was singing you believed him that's uh part of the reason why i like johnny cash another concept record let me say this correctly johnny cash sings the ballads of the true west and i remember this was one of the first johnny cash albums that i'd ever heard a friend of mine um, recorded this onto cassette for me. Um, and, uh, you know, on the back, Johnny Cash, uh, 
does a little, uh, some liner notes on the back. He says, never in this land before us and never more hereafter could a land know such a people as the pioneer or the cowboy. So this is a, um, a concept album about songs of the pioneer, songs of the cowboy. You've got um, some great songs on here. I love the road to Cane Tuck. I love the shifting, whispering sands. Um, I ride an old paint, hard and wouldn't run. Mr. Garfield about um, the assassination of President Garfield. Um, the streets of Laredo. A letter from home, bury me not, not on a lone prairie. Mean as hell. Sam Hall. Ooh, 25 minutes to go. So a studio version of that song. I know he does it live as well. I love Sweet Betsy from Pike. Um, and again, he does the Shifting Whispering Sands part two. So all in all, I'm, you know, from the albums that I've been talking about in this video, I'd say this one so far is my favorite. This is a really good record. I might have to listen to this tonight. And the last one I'm going to talk about, <clears throat> One Piece at a Time, a uh, later 70s album for him. Just look at that cover. Love the hair, Johnny. Love it. I'm jealous. Um, this is another great album. Um, Let There Be Country. And uh, there's a country singer named Marty Stewart that I believe covered that song as well. Um, I, classic One Piece at a Time. Great story song of taking little bits of all different types of cars and different years of cars and putting them together into like the the total classic supercar great song um what else is on here oh i like sold out of flagpoles committed to park view that's a great song too i want to say well i know porter wagner does that song as well did he write that song uh, I don't know. I'm going to have to look that up. But I... Do I say Porter Wagner wrote Committed to Park View? Sure, I'm going to say it. And I'm going to check. If you know, comment below. But that is a great song. Committed to Park View. Um, so this is, again, another great album. One Piece at a Time um, is, is worth the price of admission for this. So, again, I think... Between the last two videos that, well, between that the last video I did and this video on the uh, complete Columbia box set, um, those are some of my favorite albums. What did I pick? About six today, about six or so the last time. So there's about 12 albums in there that I, I really, um, you know, gravitate towards. Um, of course, the American Recordings albums, those are not included in this box set, but those are classics as well. And we're starting to get uh, close to the holidays. I love all the Johnny Cash Christmas albums as well. Um, I have some Johnny Cash videos because uh, he used to do a TV series and he has some um, Christmas themed videos that I have. Um, but for me, Johnny Cash definitely puts me into that Christmas mood as well. And uh, so, you know, during the holidays, if you, if you haven't listened to the Johnny Cash Christmas albums, I would definitely put those on as well. So... Um, Thanks for listening. Uh, subscribe, share the video, and um, I will be posting again soon. Thank you.